I recently started the postgraduate program for artificial intelligence and machine learning at the University of Texas at Austin. It's a seven month program designed to give you concrete skills in AI and ML for a price of around $4,200 and you get a professional certificate at the end of it. Now, I know there's a lot of interest in artificial intelligence and machine learning, and specifically a lot of interest in this program. UT is one of the best universities in the world when it comes to computer science and artificial intelligence, and it also happens to be where I earned my undergraduate business degree many years ago, which is partly how I found out about the program. Now, although the program has been around for a few years, I hadn't really seen a ton of content about it, which is why this video is going to be one of a handful where I document my experience in real time as I'm going through this program. So if you want to follow along, make sure to subscribe or follow me on LinkedIn or X. All the relevant links can be found in the description or comments below. And in this particular video, I'm gonna talk about my first impressions having been in the program already close to a month and having done already two graded assignments. Now, before I get into that, I thought it would be helpful to just briefly explain why I'm doing this program in the first place. Main reason is I just wanted to educate myself on artificial intelligence and machine learning, pretty simple. It's a technology that's only going to increase in relevance and use. It's a tool that has the potential to accelerate work capacity, and in some cases, truth be told, replace the number of people needed for certain roles. Those that understand AI and ML will be more competitive in a future workforce. Now, my reason for doing this program in particular, after having done a ton of research on similar programs at other universities, this was easily the best value for a handful of reasons. First is you get a certificate from a prestigious university. Second is length of time is seven months not as long as a typical full-fledged master degree program, but it's long enough to get a substantial education and get into the details. Unlike some six-week programs, for example, that you feel like you could have just watched the YouTube video because the content is just too surface level. Third is $4,200 is relatively affordable compared to similar programs of similar reputation. And it's a fraction of the time and cost of just about any master degree program. Fourth is this program is fully online, which is great when you're trying to balance work and family. So that's a quick background as to why. Let's get into my first impressions. Short of it is my experience has been very positive. And there's really only one area of opportunity that I think may get better as I go further into the program, but I'll, I'll talk about that. Let's break this down into the following points. Talk about organization, content slash instruction, user interface, and live sessions. All right, so organization. After you've locked in your start date, which by the looks of it, it sounds like there's a cohort that starts about every month. You'll get onboarded to the Great Learning Platform, which is a third-party platform that the University of Texas uses to deliver content. You'll also be assigned a program manager who's going to reach out to you as you get closer to the program with some additional information about when the program starts, timing, the schedule, classes, and you'll have that same program manager throughout the duration of the program, or at least that's my understanding. Now what's really nice is they've been really good about sending me reminders about upcoming deadlines, live sessions, other milestones, and for any live session, they've been sending me calendar invites. So without even me doing anything, it just goes to my Google calendar automatically. So communication has been top notch. No complaints at all there. At no point was I ever confused about what's coming up or what was due, what was expected of me. It's all been fantastic. Now the other part of organization is tied to content and instruction. The program is very well organized and follows a very logical learning path starting with the foundations of Python. This is one of the most widely used programming languages in general, but also for data science specifically. You learn how to organize data sets and perform calculations on them, which is 
key to everything else you'll be doing with respect to AI and ML. And along with data visualization, which is what I'm working on right now, this is what's going to make up your first month in the program. Now, even if you've never written code before, this program does a really good job of getting you up to speed. The content and curriculum is developed by staff at the University of Texas at Austin. So far, the main coursework that I've been going through has been pre-recorded lectures by Dr. Dan Mitchell, who's an associate professor at the university. And the quality of instruction is among the best I've come across. This, of course, can be subjective, but he does a great job of explaining everything very thoroughly, sometimes a little bit too thoroughly, where I hope at times he would be a little bit quicker, but better that than under explaining. The content so far has been walking through blocks of code, explaining what's happening, how this can be applied to real world situations. And everything we're doing from a coding standpoint or writing the code is done through Google Colab. And as you're going through the video content, which every week there's a, a module, if you will, in each module, there are a handful of videos, and so far they've been anywhere from 10 to 20 videos, uh, smaller videos of anywhere between 5 to 20 minutes, simply covering subtopics within a larger topic. And mixed in are a series of two to five question quizzes that are just mixed in just to test your understanding as you're going through the videos to make sure that you're really paying attention, you're absorbing some of this. And at the end of the module, after you've watched all the videos, there are some practice quizzes you can do that are a little bit lengthier, but they of course cover the all the topics that you learned about. All of which I completed because I wanted to make sure I was well prepared because at the end of it, there's a formal graded quiz that you have to take. And if you do the practice quizzes, you should be okay, and I did quite well on mine. Now let's talk user interface. As I mentioned, Great Learning is the platform through which all the content is delivered. My experience has been pretty positive here too. Nothing too special about the interface. It doesn't really need to be. It's very intuitive how to get to my courses, how to view my progress, but there's also an area of the platform for community. This is where you can ask questions and get clarity on topics that you still have some confusion about from other learners or from people in the program. I personally haven't used many of those features. I've, I've taken a look at it and it looks Clean and basic. Now onto the live sessions. Now I haven't had many of these so far. I've been, I believe in maybe three of them, but it's usually you and a group of around 20 or so other people that are paired with a mentor. And you have a weekly mandatory live session that happens either on Saturday or Sunday, depending on what you indicate as your availability at the start of the program and time zone. So they try to put you in a group that's going to work for your schedule as best it can. Now, a quick note on the mentors. These are people that are already working in the industry or in the field of data science or artificial intelligence. And one of the criticisms of the program that I've seen quite often online is that the live sessions aren't taught by university faculty, which as far as I can tell, appears to be true, but I don't actually think that's a bad thing. For that matter, across all the professors that I have ever had in my entire life from community college to university level, it's been a very mixed bag. Generally speaking, some are incredible teachers, most are average, and some are just not that good. So I don't think that not having faculty teach in these live sessions in and of itself is a good or bad thing. But a point to consider in the good category, they're gonna be well qualified to share with you what the actual tools and methods are used in real world applications right now. Now, although the curriculum itself is fantastic, the mentors can be the ones to give you more context on the learning material. And when it comes to these weekly live sessions, the goal for the mentor is to review all the content that you've spent the week learning about in the pre-recorded lectures they help fill in any gaps clear up any confusion answer any questions that you might have but they also do a live walkthrough of case studies it's taking everything that you learn in the module and applying it to a case study that they they walk through live and of course that's a really good environment to learn because you get to see how the mentor 
thinks through logically the case study and how they go about writing their code. Now, one issue that I ran into in the first real life session was that I felt like there was too much time spent on very basic questions. Now that in and of itself is not necessarily a bad thing, but the case study we were going to review pertains to all that content. And in going through the case study, all those questions could have been answered. And the first session in particular was scheduled to be about two and a half hours because it was the, the first session where we're doing introductions at the beginning. And after reviewing all the content, answering the questions, we didn't start talking about the case study until about the two hour mark. And at two hours and 40 minutes, we weren't even halfway through the case study. So unfortunately I had to drop in, attend to other things. So this wasn't a really good use of my time, but I also think it has more to do with the fact that it's the first session, everyone's just just getting ramped up, everyone's just getting started. And I fully expect that the next live sessions will be much better. The time I started writing this script, I had only done the one session. I've done my second one now, and that ended up being much better. The questions that we were going through were much more detailed. The case study we got to much faster, and that was a much better use of my time. They were actually walking through how they're thinking about writing the code in real time. And they're, they're making mistakes also in real time. So they're going through, okay, let me try this. And if that doesn't work, let me try this other snippet of code. So seeing that was very interesting, getting in the mind of someone that does programming to see what they do, it helps me also think about logically how to code in the same way. So all that to say, all the future live sessions seem to be very promising. So far, this has been a great experience, very well organized. Content is very enjoyable, has a very good pace. Everything's making sense so far. And the live sessions are beginning to add a lot of value to my learning, and I expect this will continue to be the case. So I hope this video was helpful to you if you're considering this program. Check out the links below for more information about the program. And if you're subscribed or following me on LinkedIn or X, be on the lookout for more videos where I will give some more updates as I move along through the program. With that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around.